Hey, Snip Q&A again. Look at a transformer installation here by Army Veteran Sparky. Thanks a lot for that. So is the different color coding of the primary and secondary sides required? Uh, what do you think? Mm, let's see the answers of our friends here. Uh, we've got the answers here by Adam Stewart. Makes sense to do so as there is a change in characteristic of supply. Yes, because there's a change in voltage, so probably. RD11784, yes, that's a correct answer here. Electrical California, yes. CP3, oh my god, Chris Paul is here, so know that all they had, so they paste it green. So I think it's referring to the supply bonding jumper there. That's a uh, color white with a mark, uh, tape mark with color green. Oops. Okay, next, Andrew Poole. If I'm not mistaken, the only required colors are neutral, ground, and high legs orange. Hmm. I think he's trying to make some point here. Uh, let's see what's the right answer based on the code. Okay. If I look at the system that we had a while ago, well, I've got to say that. Hmm. Okay, looking at the transformer single line diagram that I make I made here, we can see that we have the primary at delta and then the secondary at y. So line one, line two, line three, they have the color coding here, and based on that color coding, it's color coded as a two seven seven dash four eight. It's a brown, orange, yellow. So, and then for the secondary, that's a black, red, and uh, which call this blue for the ungrounded conductors, which will tell us that it's a uh, uh, one one twenty two eight. It's a two eight white one twenty three phase system. Okay, and we can see on the system that uh, we can have a neutral and a supply bonding jumper here in between the neutral and the earthing terminal there, and then we have a grounding electrode conductor that's supposed to be a bear or a uh, insulated conductor, it's up to you. So, is color coding required? Let us see. Okay, this one's from 210.5 for branch circuits. And we can see that if we've got the grounded conductor that's based from 200.6, which says us it's white or gray, this is for the neutral or grounded conductor. And then for the equipment grounding conductor, it just tells us that we need a green conductor for that. We just need a green insulation, or it's either green or green with yellow stripes, yellow stripes, okay? And it's either bare also, you are allowed to do so. Now, for the ungrounded conductors, you're only required to do color coding for phase and for the different voltages. If you have more than one nominal system voltage, like for example, in our example, we have a primary of 480Y277 volt system and a 28Y120 volt system for the secondary. So we will be required to have color coding for that. So the basic rule now applies is that if we have two or more, um, nominal voltage system, then color coding is required. Color code is required. So it's either, it can be provided by insulated conductors with a, covered with the whole length of it, with a color or something, or it can be made tape mark, but that's not that, that's not the issue of this video. Uh, we'll count, we'll better make uh, separate for that one. For the grounded conductor, you can use white or gray or a conductor that's re-identified with white or gray stripes, other than green insulation. So you're allowed with that. That's for neutral or the grounded conductor. Uh, now, if we have grounded conductor for different systems. Uh, different systems means two or more voltage system, voltage system, right? So, and if they are in the same raceway, um, same, same enclosure, auxiliary guard or box, 
then you're required to have one with a gray insulation that's the uh, one is gray one is, second is white so it depends on the matter here let's check the graphics that we have here okay let's see now we have a single box here this is a single enclosure here and then we have 480 277 volts and a 208 y 120 volts so uh, with regards to the code rule that we have discussed a lot while ago, we're required to have color coding for that, okay? And then we're also required to have the grounded conductor to have some distinguishment between them. So one is gray, one is white, okay? Let's check other uh, one there. Okay, for this one, we only have one voltage system here, so we're doing great with this one. Neutral must be white or gray, and then the equipment grounding conductor must be green, bare, or green with yellow stripes. Uh, if it's only one system voltage here, it's good to take note. One system voltage here, ungrounded conductors can be all black, 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 or you can have red, 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 or you can have blue, blue, blue. You're not required to do color coding by face. So that's a cool rule about the NEC. Uh, yeah. If you only have one system voltage, then color coding by face for ungrounded conductors is not required. But I've got to tell you, I've got to tell you, okay? This is a friendly reminder. You gotta check your job specifications. Your job specs will tell you what to do so. This is just a code. Remember that a code tells you the minimum uh, standards that we must do for electrical installations. But just remember, the code is not a design issue, okay? So it's prudent to do color coding for that, okay? So we're going to next here. We have two system voltages here. Uh, just checking it. We have uh, 2, 8, and... 480 volts in a single raceway that's a single raceway so separate identification for that will be required since we have two system voltages there and also the neutral here the grounded conductor one is white and then the other can be white with stripes of gray or whatever it is you can use gray for the equipment grounding conductor it can be both green there's no problem with that so white neutral here for if we have separate raceway then separate identification for hot legs here so for white uh, for the neutral then it's okay that uh, both of them are white since they are not in the same raceway so there's if they are separate raceway or separate enclosure then it's okay to have them both uh, same color so how about the equipment grounding conductor here equipment grounding conductor can be bare or you can use it as a, a green or green with one or more yellow stripes uh, so or you can even use the conduit itself like rmc or imc uh, fmc uh, as your own raceway uh, as your own equipment grounding conductor and the code allows that for some restrictions of course like emt you can use that okay going back to the post here we can see that the supply bonding jumper here just look at that here the supply bonding jumper here that connects the neutral point of the secondary to the uh, earthing bar there earthing terminal there uh what can you say about this it's a white conductor that's been re-identified with green stripes uh is that allowed uh, i've got to say let's check the code provision for bonding jumpers okay this is the code provision for bonding jumpers is 250.102 wherein we have bonding jumpers here bonding conductors or jumpers uh, does it say anything about the color coding? Uh, it doesn't have any. It just says that the material can be copper, aluminum, or copper clad. It can be a bus, wire, or screw. So there's really no color coding for that. But is it okay to use white for that? Mm, 
well you can use green for that there's no nothing wrong with that but using white for it uh, i think you're gonna have some conflict with the code let's check again the code provisions that tells us that white is only for grounded conductors okay going back here if we have a white with continuous uh, white or gray okay so in essence that's what we use in the photo that we had by army sparky veteran so it can only be used look at that can only be used for grounded conductor so only only for grounded conductor or you can say the neutral the neutral okay neutral conductor okay so depends on your how can you understand the code but for me i think it's really a violation of the code okay so we can check out the photo again here sorry about that so looking back here i can say that this one should have been a different color or i don't know based on your judgment what do you think guys uh let us know in your comments you can comment here okay how about for the hmm let us see the other things here uh, i think it's already okay regarding the black conductors there look at that the black conductors there those are just internal wirings for the delta connection of the transformer so it's not covered by the code that's uh, that's already based from the uh, the transformer transformer manufacturer and regarding to the grounding electric conductor, yes, same rule also applies with the bonding jumper when you're not required to have a color coding for that. You can even have a bear for that or a green, but it's prudent to use green. I would say just use green here. If you're going to use a green here, then it will be a lot cleaner and it will look more professional. But So anyway, thanks to Americans, uh, Ameri, Amer uh, American Sparky there, veteran. So... I would like to commend this photo. It's such a nice installation. Uh, I would like to thank you for allowing us to use this photo. Army veteran Sparky, uh, yeah. Peace and thanks a lot.